So in this video we're going to show you healthy sweets and snacks that you can make every day at home that will benefit your health greatly. To start with, we're going to make a dark chocolate, which sounds more difficult than it is. The only ingredients you're going to need for this are a cacao butter or cocoa butter, a cacao powder, and coconut oil, as well as a non-sugar sweetener like Lohan xylitol uh, or honey. Now, all those ingredients are either an herb or a healthy fat. We know with these healthy fats, they don't stimulate an insulin release or a resistance, which is what we know is the primary reason for people gaining weight. Now, there's also flavonoids in there, along with so many other great things, and the flavonoids will greatly improve your heart health, hypertension, cholesterol, uh, as well as mood. It's great for your skin and so many other things. So we're going to start with half a cup of uh, cocoa butter. Half a cup of coconut oil. The measurements you see here are obviously not going to be perfect. We're going to put that in a double boiler. And as that boils, we're going to add a quarter cup of cacao powder. I'm using the nibs in this one, which essentially all you have to do is grind it, and it's just a standard coffee grinder. As that boils down to a liquid, we're going to add the cocoa powder, as well as our sweetener, which in this case, will be two tablespoons of xylitol. We're also going to add about a tablespoon of honey and just a pinch of Himalayan sea salt to bring out the chocolate flavor. Now I'm going to include a full ingredient list as well as links to where you can get all these. Of course, all organic and fair trade. Now, in addition to the ingredients that uh, we, we've shown you, you could also put uh, organic cinnamon in there, you could put stevia, you could put mint. If you want to increase the uh, protein in it, you could put uh, peanut butter or an almond butter. You could also put a uh, organic whey protein. I even put uh, ground coffee grinds in there sometimes if you like the taste of coffee. And while that's boiling, we're going to move over here and uh, prepare some nuts that we're going to put over this. I don't have these in the office here, but what you can do is pour the chocolate into a mold. What we're going to do instead is pour it over a few different things. So this plate will be sort of a banana and peanut butter sandwich. This plate we're going to put half hemp seeds and half sliced almonds. Now that the chocolate is done, we're going to pour that directly over our mixture. Pour it over the nuts as well. And we'll have one plate that is plain. The bananas we're going to freeze. These two we'll put in the refrigerator. So just to show you the final result, this is what this looks like. And uh, I'll use a knife to cut these out. And there you have uh, that. This is the plain chocolate one. And I'll even put this in my tea because uh, like I'll have a turmeric tea and turmeric is fat soluble. And this is good healthy fats to include with that. And uh, the raw cacao makes for good tea as well. And this is the almonds. Usually break this up. And that's it. Makes for a great snack. Now all the ingredients we used here are completely healthy for you and will benefit you in some way. 
Now in part two and three of this video series, I show you how to make a healthy popcorn that tastes great, as well as an ice cream that tastes great. And I've also used this chocolate to pour over both of them, which really make them out of this world. So check those out, and I hope this works well for you. Good luck.